On to some much lighter news now. Mullet enthusiasts from across Australia assembled on Saturday to celebrate the mullet lifestyle and crown a greatest mullet of all. Over 150 contestants' mullets were categorized into five groups. Those were everyday, grubby, red hair, women's, and juniors. The winner of the Greatest Mullet of All Award went to a man who began growing his mullet cut in 1986. The short on top and sides, long at the back mullet hairstyle was glamorized in the 1970s and 80s, and Ed Senstis took place in Australia, I'm going to channel Crocodile Dundee and say, that's not a mullet, that's a mullet. <laughs> was that good? No? Yeah, that was good. Bad? Bad yeah, Australian good. accent? <laughs> yeah, it's good, to, uh, yeah, it's good to know they're all down in Australia, though. Yeah. You, know, it's, you see a few mullets around. Guys are proud of them. If they like them, they keep them. The, the one category that kind of um, threw me off, though, was the women's mullet category. Oh. I think that was, uh, what's that, the, uh, the bounty hunter? I think his wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, dog the bounty hunter. Dog the bounty hunter. There you go. And the one mullet who won, that won since 1986, his mullet is as old as me. That's true. That's a long time to have a mullet. Yeah. I it, know people who have that cut just for, you know, a special occasion or something, but to keep a mullet that long, that's dedication. Okay. I, can you do a little uh, Billy Ray Cyrus for us? Don't break my heart, my <laughs> achy, breaky heart. I'll let you do that. Okay.